Hey guys, it's DC here and today I want to talk to you about contracting in cybersecurity versus full-time salary work. <laughs> So this video sort of leads on from yesterday's video about work-life balance and I sort of touched on quickly uh, contract work versus full-time work but I wanted to expand on it a little bit more and give you some reasons why you should get into either contracting or full-time work. So let's start off with some pros of contracting. Now the number one pro is that you earn more money as a contractor in general. Uh, sometimes it's two times more, sometimes three times more, sometimes more than that. Uh, but there is a downside to that. So this is the first con, which is that they expect you to know a lot and to really hit the ground running and be able to get into that position and get going straight away. Which sort of rules out for anyone who's interested in getting into contracting as a cybersecurity engineer or a specialist or something like that. You're probably not going to be uh, sort of fresh out of college or or have done certs, you, you probably have a little bit of experience behind you. And in most cases, they're only going to employ someone who has that experience behind them to get into contracting for the exact reason that they want someone to be able to get started on whatever it is that they need you in there for, for that contract to do straight away. The other major benefit of contracting is that your uh, work-life balance, I find, is actually a little bit better. Now, this is my own personal experience, but I find working in contract roles is, it's so much faster paced. So you you get in and you are told what job you need to get done and then you start on it straight away. There's a lot less red tape and for me that's just such a less clutter in my mind if that makes sense. Um, it's something that I can just get straight into and you know enjoy doing the work for straight away. I don't have to go through countless meetings and go through all of this, you know, that normal rubbish that you get in a sort of full-time position, you just get started straight away, which I find to be awesome. The last major benefit of contracting is that if you get sick of the job, which in my case I do, I get bored of where I work usually pretty quickly, you can move on to another position at another contract role somewhere else without damaging your reputation. And what I mean by that is, for example, if you had a full-time job and you change jobs uh, every you know, six to 12 to 18 months, it's not gonna look great on your resume. You're going to look like one of those guys who's just job hopping until you find something better. And as a contractor, that's kind of expected because your contract has a, a start and end date. Whereas if you're working for a full-time company, they expect you to stay there for usually a pretty long time, as long as possible, hopefully, as long as you can perform the duties. So I guess that's probably one of the major benefits of contracting, which is that you can you change your role, you change your life every six to 12 months or however long the contract is for. And um, sometimes even if you like a position, they do offer you sometimes a full-time position in that company and you can stay there and get all the benefits of full-time work. So that sort of brings me on to full-time work, the pros and cons of that. Now, the first pro is that it's usually, in most cases, a bit more of a safe position that you hold. So you're, you're less likely to get fired. Your work-life balance can be, in some cases, better because you're expected to do less, or at least maybe not less, but at, you know, at less of a pace as contracting. And you also get all of your leave entitlements, which you don't get in contracting. So I should probably touch on that as well. When you're working a contract, you don't get paid for lunch breaks, you don't get paid for days that you're sick. You don't get paid if you go on a holiday somewhere. Whereas you do, when you're working full time, you get all of those awesome leave entitlements, which are great to have. The only downside is though, that you get paid less. And I find the work to be a little bit of a, a drag sometimes, but that doesn't mean it's, it's not for everyone. That's just my personal preference. So I guess if you're someone like me who likes to sort of do a job, get started straight away, get the job done, and then move on to something else, contracting might be for you but if you like to sort of play it safe play the game of working that corporate ladder climbing up getting through each day and just doing the tasks that you're told then maybe full-time work is for you and there's there's no better or worse about either but the the main thing I guess to keep in mind here is that if you want to get into contracting you do need to have experience so you should if you're going straight out of college or having done certs you're pretty much restricted to only doing full-time work uh, or part-time work for uh, one particular company rather than getting into contract work because like I said before they usually want someone who has all of that experience already to get into the contract roles which is usually why they get paid more. 
Anyway, yeah, that's my two cents worth. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about contract work, if maybe you've worked as a contractor in IT or cybersecurity before, or maybe you've worked in a full-time role and you think it's a little bit different in the country uh, you're coming from. I'm talking about my experience in Australia. So I'm sure it differs around the world in different organizations and government structures. As always though, if you did like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next video. Catch you later, guys.